Yeah, hello lovely viewers i welcome you to omades and please if today be the first time you are visiting the channel kindly subscribe you like and then you share and in today's episode we are going to learn how you can save your artwork in a different format okay like pdf uh, png um corel draw photoshop and other formats okay so First of all, we have to create an artifact or an artwork here so that we'll be able to know how we can save it. So for example, uh, let me just choose any page. So let's say page uh, one, okay, which is, and I'm page size is uh, A5, and I'm choosing only one page, okay? So let's say this page, I'll draw something, I'll just create something very simple there, okay? I'll just create something very simple. Okay, good. Now we are coming to save this okay in different format. So example I'll finish this one. I want to save it in a picture form that is JPEG. Okay, JPEG. First of all, you come to file, okay. Then you come to save us, okay. Meanwhile, let's say you have already saved it, okay, you have already saved it, okay, and you, let's say you are saving the final work to be, let's say, JPEG, PDF, and other format. So we are saving this one JPEG, okay, and JPEG is in the form of picture. You can open it with any photo software, okay, so you come here, save us, then you come, and this one, if you save it in CDR, this format, only Corel Draw will be able to open. Only Corel Draw. So you have to click here. Then this one we are saving it in JPEG. Okay, JPEG. So we have to glance through and see if we can find JPEG. There's no JPEG. Then where can we find it? After you have finish your artwork and you want to save it in jpeg okay then you have to come here then you export we don't save but rather we export okay you click on export okay then your location where you want your artwork to be i'm saving it at desktop okay good then i'll give it a name let's say Then you come here, you see, you glance through, you see a lot of. But if you choose export format or export option, it gives you many, 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 many formats here. Okay, many, many, many formats. So this one we are saving it in JPEG. That is picture. So that is JPG JPEG bitmaps. Okay. Then you click on. I've already given it a name. I'm saving it on desktop then I'll click on export okay it's saved now let's come back to desktop this is the work and as soon as you double click it will open it with any uh, picture software or photo software that is uh, active okay good you see it's in the form of picture that's a JPEG good or oh, you can change it when you come here you right click go to open with any other software that you like okay let's say microsoft office 2010 you see yeah good now let's go there the same work again let's save it in a different format you go there you go to export let's save it in pdf okay pdf so let's glance through PDF. This ones up here, they are all down here because these are ones are the recent savings that I've, I I did. Okay, yeah, the recent savings that I did. You see, I just did JPEG. That is why it's up here. Yeah, so I'm just glancing through. You will find uh, PDF down here. This is PDF, and the full meaning of PDF is uh, portable document format. Portable document format. Okay click on okay now 
I'll give it a size of PDF. Okay, then come here, export. Okay, it's finished. Let's see, you see PDF, PDF. So if you have any Acrobat or PDF software on it and you don't work with it, it will automatically open with that software, you see. So this is PDF. You see here PDF. Good. Now let's go there again. The same way. Go to export. Okay. Then let's glance through. If you have, you can also save your work from my uh, Corel Draw to Adobe Illustrator. So you see AI. Yeah, Adobe Illustrator. You click on. Then let me name it AI. Okay. Now this is AI. I don't have AI software on my machine. That is why it's looking. That is why it looks like this. Okay, good. But if I have AI, it would have picked AI format. Okay, good. Now let me go there again. The same way. Okay, go to export. And the same way we can save it also in Photoshop format. Okay, Photoshop. So let's glance through and see. You see, PSD Adobe Photoshop. PSD Adobe Photoshop. So let me name it Adobe. I'll name it Adobe. Export. It's asking you some resolution because Photoshop is normally a uh, deal with some resolutions and others. So it's asking you a lot of questions. You maintain aspect ratio maintain original size so i can choose this one and then the resolution i will maintain it the width and the height i will not touch it and this one is action whether it will be transparent background you want to open the web from photoshop with a transparent background or with a white background so let me choose transparent background so that you will see okay so have you seen adobe now I have Photoshop also here, so I'll come here, open, and it's in desktop, yeah, Adobe. Have you seen? Have you seen? I told you I'm choosing transparent background. So you see the other other places which were was not occupied by any artwork is transparent. Have you seen? Yeah, good. So that is that for Photoshop also. Then let's go there again. The same work go to export then you come to sorry we come here export then you take um, let's say let's save it in png 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 i'm glancing through I'm glancing through png png yes that is portable network graphics portable network graphics so let me save P and and let's see that one also. That one also is in a, a form of a JPEG or in a form of picture. That's P and you see that one to any photographic can a photo software can open it. Okay. Good. Now let's go there again. There's other one format also that you can save it. Export. Then uh, we come here. That one is also Photoshop format. Photoshop format. That is TIFF. True type font. True type font. Okay. Sorry. Um, TIFF. Okay. TIFF bitmap. Click on this one. Uh, let me save it. TIFF. Okay. This one to You see, Photoshop normally asks you distance because I told you Photoshop normally needs resolution and to ask you original size and let's say it, it's ask you whether you are saving it in transparent background or with a white background okay yeah so Photoshop that is safe and that one to let's try and open it in Photoshop and you see see you see that one is similar like the normal photoshop that's psd okay that one it came with a uh, transparent background okay yeah 
let me open that PSD. 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 What is it? Sorry, I save it out of You see? This is the tape. This is the P, uh, PSD. This is the tape. This is the PSD. It's, uh, it's similar, okay? Good. Now, let's come back to Corel Draw. This one is only single page, okay? But let's add more pages. Added other three pages to make it four. Saving any artwork from Corel Draw when you save it in uh, JPEG, when you save it in PSD, when you save it in PNG, and when you save it in TIFF, that one it to save only one page. So, meaning you have to save it one after the other, one after the other. Example, go to export. Let's see, there are many pages, okay? Right now, there are four pages. Let's save it in, let's say, um, JPEG, okay? Sorry, JPEG, 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 okay? JPEG bitmaps, yeah? So, JPEG, hmm? You see, there are other pages, but it will save only one page, okay? So, now, let's say JPEG, have you seen? save only one page the same thing applies to the same thing applies to uh, photoshop that is psd tape and png but one important thing is let's try and save it in pdf pdf will save all the pages no matter the number of pages whether thousands or what it will save all okay so you come here go to export Okay. Then we glance through to find PDF that is Adobe that is a portable document format. Okay, Adobe portable document format. Yeah, and now name it PDF more. Okay, oh, there are more pages. Good PDF more now because i've added a lot of pages to make it for to ask me some questions okay and here you can indicate that it should save only the first page okay so if, if i take this one export this page only to save only the first page okay good and this one is a do not show dialog box no the like the dialog box should show that one it contains a lot of information and i said export only object on page no so all this one you shouldn't take if you want to save all shouldn't take but if you want to save only one page you take this one okay but they are saving all so you click here now you see pdf settings so you come here general document you say current document meaning only page one so I don't know the current document is uh, selected you see that page is there so if I go to page two okay and I go to let's say export and I click PDF 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 of mm -hmm. just show you something because page two is selected 
if I click on current document, you see it will automatic, automatically it will pick page two because that page is selected. Okay, if it's supposed to be page three, and you click on current page, that page will select it. Okay, good. So current document, that one it will pick all, and you can indicate pages one to four. Or you can indicate this I want to save from page one to page three. Or the not the pages that you want to save, you can type them here by separated with dash. Okay, good. By this one, I want to save all. So pages one to four. That is one to four. Okay, good. By here, it's okay. By compatibility, the compatibility. Uh, which version of PDF you want to open your work with? Sometimes you have a higher version. This one is Acrobat 9 and other, other, but I'm just leaving it, okay? I'm just leaving the compatibility so that any PDF can open. And if you come to color, that one to use document color settings. Yes, I don't want to change anything, okay? Good, but if you are using it for color separation, you can click here always over print black those who use it for pre-press okay but if you are not using it for any pre-press just leave it and go you come to document okay here the full screen and what 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 and thumbnail uh, generate thumbnails and what you can just leave it okay the most important one okay here too you can just leave it for the resolution or the monochrome the, this resolution is they are okay just leave it so when it comes to pre-press also we have registration mask yeah if you are using it for pre-press you know and the file information for that one you know and we have copy marks and just marks all these marks is for pre-press that is why here is pre-press now the most important thing is the most important thing is security but before we come to security let's just save it page one to four okay now it's finished let's open and see pdf more have you seen page one and these are the previous that i was talking about okay yeah you see the dates and the name of the uh file okay that is the file information uh, on the settings page okay then page two see page three page four okay that is for pdf okay good the reason why i left the security is that let me go back and show you for the security you can secure your work with password so let's go there the same pdf export okay export sorry export and um, pdf pdf security skill security okay good now every settings is there so you just come here come to security it's a encrypted method okay good that is to secure your document so you come here open see you want to secure with password you go to open then you give the password this one is saying the caps locks is on okay on my keyboard so i have to turn it off so i can just give it a uh, any password let's say one two three four that is the password that i type then you have to confirm it one two three four okay good then permission password that one is just like a, a hint or something like that but I, I don't need that one so i'll just put off this one then you click on ok so this time around if you open the pdf without typing the password to no open see have you seen this file is password protected please enter a password to open okay so i told you i type one two three four so one two three four open so if you are saving any artwork in Corel Draw with pdf and you want to protect it okay with a password let's say you have any uh, artwork on your on your page and you don't want anyone to open let's say uh, you have other friends and other guys who can also use your machine you can protect 
your work with a password okay so that is that so viewers that's the end of today's tutorial how you can save your artwork in a different format so thank you for your time and enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe you like then you share bye bye